Hello, hello, welcome. Welcome to day 228 of our Bible in a Year Challenge. My name is Sandra. I'm going to be your host for today. Welcome. We are committed to reading our Bibles in a year with just less than 20 minutes daily read time. Yes, you heard me right. Just less than 20 minutes daily read time. Please kindly go ahead right now, subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on Facebook, on Instagram, and on TikTok at Sandra Boyo Aruleba. Let's get started. Day 228, August 16th, 2022, 365 days Bible reading, Old Testament, Second Chronicles 5, 1 to 14, Second Chronicles 6, Second Chronicles 7, 1 to 10, New Testament, First Corinthians 10, 14 to 33, Psalms and Proverbs, Proverbs 25 to 14. Old Testament and IV version, Second Chronicles 5, 1 to 14. When all the work Solomon had done for the temple of the Lord was finished, he brought in the things his father David had dedicated, the silver and gold and all the furnishings, and he placed them in the treasuries of God's temple. The ark brought to the temple. Then Solomon summoned to Jerusalem the elders of Israel, all the heads of the tribes and the chiefs of the Israelite families, to bring up the ark of the Lord's covenant from Zion. The city of David and all the Israelites came together to the king at the time of the festival in the seventh month. When all the elders of Israel had arrived, the Levites took up the ark and they brought up the ark and the tent of meeting and all the sacred furnishings in it. The Levitical priests carried them up and King Solomon and the entire assembly of Israel that had gathered about him were before the ark sacrificing so many sheep and cattle that they could not be recorded or counted the priest then brought the ark of the lord's covenant to its place in the inner sanctuary of the temple the most holy place and put it beneath the wings of the cherubim the cherubim spread their wings over the place of the ark and covered the ark and its carrying poles. These poles were so long that their ends extending from the ark could be seen from in front of the inner sanctuary, but not from outside the holy place, and they are still there today. There was nothing in the ark except the two tablets that Moses had placed in it at Horeb, where the Lord made a covenant with the Israelites after they came out of Israel, of Egypt. The priest then withdrew from the holy place. All the priests who were there had consecrated themselves regardless of their divisions. All the Levites who were musicians, Asaph, Heman, Jeduthun and their sons and relatives stood on the east side of the altar, dressed in fine linen and playing cymbals, harps and lyres. They were accompanied by 120 priests sounding trumpets. The trumpeters and musicians joined in unison to give praise and thanks to the Lord. Accompanied by trumpets, cymbals and other instruments, the singers raised their voices in praise to the Lord and sang, He is good, His love endures forever. Then the temple of the Lord was filled with the cloud, and the priests could not perform their service because of the cloud, for the glory of the Lord filled the temple of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Second Chronicles 6, 1-42 then Solomon said, The Lord has said that he would dwell in a dark cloud. I have built a magnificent temple for you, a place for you to dwell forever. While the whole assembly of Israel was standing there, the king turned around and blessed them. Then he said, Praise be to the Lord, the God of Israel, who with his hands has fulfilled what he promised with his mouth to my father David. For he said, since the day I brought my people out of Egypt, I have not chosen a city in any tribe of Israel to have a temple built so that my name might be there, nor have I chosen anyone to be ruler over my people Israel. But now I have chosen Jerusalem for my name to be there, and I have chosen David to rule my people Israel. My father David had it in his heart to build a temple for the Lord 
for the name of the Lord, the God of Israel. But the Lord said to my father, David, you did well to have it in your heart to build a temple for my name. Nevertheless, you are not the one to build the temple, but your son, your own flesh and blood, he is the one who will build the temple for my name. The Lord has kept the promise he made. I have succeeded, David, my father, and now I sit on the throne of Israel, just as the Lord promised, and I have built the temple for the name of the Lord, the God of Israel. There I have placed the ark in which was the covenant of the Lord that he had made with the people of Israel. Solomon's prayer of dedication. Then Solomon stood before the altar of the Lord in front of the whole assembly of Israel and spread out his hand. Now he had made a bronze platform five cubits long five cubits wide and three cubits high and had placed it in the center of the outer court. He stood on the platform and then knelt down before the whole assembly of Israel and spread out his hands toward heaven. He said, Lord, the God of Israel, there is no God like you in heaven or on earth. You will keep your covenant of love with your servants who continue wholeheartedly in your way. You have kept your promise to your servant, David, my father. With your mouth, you have promised and with your hand, you have fulfilled it as it is today. Now, Lord, the God of Israel, keep your keep for your servant, David, my father. The promise you made to him when you said you shall never fail to have a successor to sit before me on the throne of Israel. If only your descendants are careful in all they do to walk before me according to my law, as you have done. And now, Lord, the God of Israel, let your word that you promised your servant David come true. But will God really dwell on earth with humans? The heavens, even the highest heavens, cannot contain you. How much less this temple I have built. Yet, Lord, my God, give attention to your servant's prayer. And his plea for mercy, hear the cry and the prayer that your servant is praying in your presence. May your eyes be open toward this temple day and night, this place of which you said you would put your name there. May, your, may you hear the prayer of your servant. May you hear the prayer your servant prays toward this place. Hear the supplications of your servant and of your people Israel when they pray toward this place. Hear from heaven your dwelling place and when you hear forgive. When anyone wrongs their neighbor and is required to take an oath and they come and swear the oath before your altar in this temple. Then hear from heaven and act. Judge between your servants condemning the guilt and bringing down on their heads what they have done and vindicating the innocent by treating them in accordance with their innocence. When your people Israel have been defeated by an enemy because they have sinned against you, and when they turn back and give praise to your name, praying and making supplication before you in this temple, then hear from heaven and forgive the sin of your people and bring them back to the land you gave to them and their ancestors when the heavens are shut up and there is no rain because your people have sinned against you and when they pray toward this place and give praise to your name and turn from their sin because you have afflicted them then hear from heaven and forgive the sin of your servants your people israel teach them the right way to live and send rain on the land you gave your people for an inheritance when famine or plague comes to the land or blight or mildew locusts or grasshoppers or when enemies besiege them in any of their cities whatever disaster or disease may come and when a prayer or plea is made by anyone among your people israel being aware of their afflictions and pains and spreading out their hands towards the this temple then hear from heaven your dwelling place forgive and dwell with everyone and deal with everyone according to all they do since you know their hearts for you alone know the human heart so that they will fear you and walk in obedience to you all the time they live in the land you gave our ancestors as for the foreigner 
who does not belong to your people Israel, but has come from a distant land because of your great name and your mighty hand and your outstretched arm. When they come and pray toward this temple, then hear from heaven your dwelling place. Do whatever the foreigner asks of you, so that all the peoples of the earth may know your name and fear you, as do your own people Israel, and may know that this house I built I have built bears your name. When your people go to war against their enemies, wherever you send them, and when they pray to you toward the city you have chosen and the temple I have built for your name, then hear from heaven their prayer and their plea and uphold their cause. When they sin against you, for there is no one who does not sin and you become angry with them and give them over to the enemy who takes them captive to a land far away or near and if they have a change of heart in the land where they are held captive and repent and plead with you in the land of their captivity and say we have sinned we have done wrong and acted wickedly and if they turn back to you with all their heart and soul in the land of their captivity where they were taken and pray toward the land you gave their ancestors toward the city you have chosen and toward the temple i have built for your name then from heaven your dwelling place hear their prayer and their pleas and uphold their cause and forgive your people who have sinned against you now my god May your eyes be open and your ears attentive to the prayers offered in this place. Now arise, Lord God, and come to your resting place, you and the ark of your might. May your priests, Lord God, be clothed with salvation. May your faithful people rejoice in your goodness. Lord God, do not reject your anointed one. Remember the great love promised to David, your servant. Second Chronicles 7, 1 to 10. The dedication of the temple. When Solomon finished praying, fire came down from heaven and consumed the burnt offering and the sacrifices, and the glory of the Lord filled the temple. The priests could not enter the temple of the Lord because the glory of the Lord filled it. When all the Israelites saw the fire coming down and the glory of the Lord above the temple, they knelt on the pavement with their faces to the ground, and they worshipped and gave thanks to the Lord, saying, He is is good his love endures forever then the king and all the people offered sacrifices before the lord and king solomon offered a sacrifice of twenty two thousand head of cattle and a hundred and twenty thousand sheep and goats so the king and all the people dedicated the temple of the lord the priests took their positions as did the levites with the lord's musical instruments which king david had made for praising the lord which were used when he gave thanks saying his love endures forever opposite the levites the priests blew their trumpets and all the israelites were standing Solomon consecrated the middle part of the courtyard in front of the temple of the Lord and there he offered burnt offerings and the fat of the fellowship offerings because the bronze altar he had made could not hold the burnt offerings, the grain offerings and the fat portions. So Solomon observed the festival at that time for seven days and Israel with him, a vast assembly, people from Lebo Hamath to Wadi of Egypt. On the eighth day, they held an assembly for they had celebrated the dedication of the altar for seven days and the festival for seven days more. On the twenty-third day of the seventh month, he sent the people to their homes, joyful and glad in heart for the good things the Lord had done for David and Solomon and for his people Israel. Hallelujah. New Testament NIV Version, 1 Corinthians 10, 14-33 Idol feast and the Lord's Supper. Therefore, my people, therefore, my dear friends, flee from idolatry. I speak to sensible people, judge for yourselves what I say. It's not the cup of thanksgiving for which we give thanks a participation in the blood of christ and is not the bread that we break a participation in the body of christ because there is one loaf we who are many are one body for we all shall share the one flesh the one loaf consider the people of israel do not those who eat the sacrifices participate in the altar do i mean then that food sacrifice to an idol is anything 
or that an idol is anything? No. But the sacrifices of pagans are offered to demons, not to God. And I do not want you to be participants with demons. You cannot drink the cup of the Lord and drink the cup of demons too. You cannot have a part in both the Lord's table and the table of demons. Are we trying to arouse the Lord's jealousy? Are we stronger than he? The believer's freedom. I have the right to do anything you say but not everything is beneficial i have the right to do anything but not everything is constructive no one should seek their own good but the good of others eat every anything sold in the meat market without raising questions of conscience for the earth is the lord's and everything in it if an unbeliever invites you to a meal and you want to go eat whatever is put before you without raising questions of conscience but if someone says to you this has been offered in sacrifice then do not eat it both for the sake of the one who told you and for the sake of conscience i am referring to the other person's conscience not yours for why is my freedom being judged by another's conscience if i take part in the meal with thankfulness why am i denounced because of something i thank god for so whether you eat or drink or whatever you do do it all for the glory of god do not cause anyone to stumble whether jews greeks or the church of god even as i try to please everyone in every way for i am not seeking my own good but the good of many so that they may be saved psalms and proverbs proverbs 25 to 14 the purposes of a person's heart are deep waters but one who has inside draws them out many claim to have unfailing love but the faithful person who can find the righteous lead blameless lives blessed are their children after them when the king sits on his throne to judge he winnows out all evil with his eyes who can say i have kept my heart pure i am clean and without sin deferring weights and deferring measures the lord detests them both even small children are known by their actions so is their conduct really pure and upright ears that hear and eyes that see the lord has made them both do not love sleep or you will grow poor stay awake and you will have food to spare it's no good it's no good says the buyer then goes off and boasts about the purchase amen hallelujah please if you're here and you like to make jesus your personal lord and savior kindly repeat this prayer after me lord jesus i confess my sins and i ask for your forgiveness please come into my heart as my lord and savior take complete control of my life and help me to walk in your footsteps daily by the power of the holy spirit thank you lord for saving me and for answering my prayer in jesus name amen congratulations if you said this prayer we are so excited to welcome you into god's family kindly go ahead send us an email right now to salvation in christ 101 at gmail.com that is salvation in christ 101 at gmail.com someone is going to reach out to you and pray with you and help you in your new faith walk glory to god hallelujah god bless you please remember right now to follow me on all my social media handles on facebook instagram and tiktok go ahead right now share this link with your friends family and loved ones encourage them to join us as we read our bibles every single day follow me on youtube as well subscribe and like comment and share god bless you thank you for being here today i look forward to another amazing day tomorrow with you have a blessed day today i love you bye